signature over the document when a sender is sending some document it applies some digital signature so we'll see what is digital signature okay so whereas so for uh, symmetric the same key will be used whereas here the key will not the same key will not be used so one key for encryption and different uh, the another key is used for decryption so whatever the public key so public there are many public key algorithms so public key algorithms the computationally they are computationally infeasible to determine the decryption key because uh, it requires one key for encryption and another key for decryption so encryption key is known to everyone it is public encryption key is sometimes is a public and decryption key is the private means at the private key because there is no uh, relation between this public and uh, private key and all okay so that is computationally infeasible to determine the decryption key given only knowledge of algorithm and the encryption key which is public so the main algorithm which is used for public key crypto system is the rsa algorithm some algorithms like rsa what rsa is going to do is whatever the public and private keys are there with the sender or receiver so if sender uh, among the two sender can choose so uh, like a and b are the is so for one trans uh, transmission so if sender is choosing a a as a public a wait key or sometimes sender can choose uh, if sender choose a private and uh, then uh, b will be come in public so vice versa can be that is all depends on the the sender's choice and only so one can be used for encryption the other can be used for the decryption so oh, the scenario the uh, scenario of public key system uh, crypto system is this specifying so given a plain text it applies the encryption algorithm so while applying the encryption algorithm it is using the key public key so this is bob's public key bob is a receiver bob is the receiver this is the receiver. so for encryption it is using bob's public key okay and whatever the cipher text generated that will be transmitted and transmitted then at receiver side decryption will be started from decryption the receiver will use receiver will use this private key okay then so in this first uh, in the encryption process so in, the, in this is a encryption process in this encryption process so bob and alice are there okay bob and alice are there okay so here bob is a sender and alice is a receiver not the bob as a receiver so bob is a sender and alice is a receiver so that is why alice is using its private key alice is using her private key in order to decrypt the message and bob, uh, bob is using so alice will have two things one is a public key and the other one is the private key so this public key will be given to the bob means alice will store all its keys like public and private keys in a repository so bob can access the 
Bob can directly access the Alice public key, not the private key. So we'll be given the access to the public key. So Bob can take the Alice public key and can encrypt. And in order to decrypt, so Alice uses its private key. Alice uses the private key. So sometimes, so mainly uh, in order to provide uh, whatever we are going to perform in this cryptography, conversion of uh, plain text to ciphertext or ciphertext to plain text, it has to provide uh, some confidentiality, it has to provide the integrity and it has to provide some availability and all. So these are the some, uh, some security services, right? So in order to provide the authentication, how, so whether the corresponding data is from, the ciphertext is coming from the, the proper person or not. So in order to provide the authentication, here in this second representation, so plain text is encrypted using the Bob's private key. Bob means sender. So sender will have a public key and the private key. And receiver will also have the public key and the private key. Okay. Suppose if sender, uh, that is Bob, uses the Alice public key, then what will happen? So authentication will be missing, isn't it? So anyone can, so whoever having the Alice public key can encrypt, isn't it? So in order to provide the authentication, Bob is encrypting the data by using the uh, Bob's private key. Okay, sender's private key, uh, if the data is encrypted using the sender's private key, then it is going to provide the authentication. And at receiver side, it uses the Bob's public key. So receiver will use the uh, sender's public key because both sender will have two keys, receiver will have two keys, right? So at receiver side, receiver will use the sender's public key. That is nothing but the authentication. Okay. So here, source A produces the plain text. Plain text A is nothing but this, uh, the sender is uh, having the, the plain text. How it is going to generate the ciphertext is so in order to generate the ciphertext, so this B is nothing but the receiver. A is the sender and B is the receiver. B is the receiver. First, if A wants to send message to B, first step is B should have two keys. One is the public key, the other one is the private key. Means the receiver has to give some setup, key setup. So receiver has to generate the public key. So that public key will be given to the, the public key will be given to the sender. Okay, B's public key will be given to the sender. Then sender will use B's public key and it uses some encryption algorithm. Okay, sender will use the B's public key and uses the encryption algorithm. And then it generates the ciphertext that will be transmitted over the network. Okay, so that is the scenario. So if you observe, so B generates a pair of keys. One is the public, U, B is nothing but public. Okay, public, because public and private both will start with the letter P. So if we consider the second letter U, second letter is U and in private second letter is R. So K, U, B means uh, receivers, receivers, public key. KRB means receiver's private key. So if sender wants to send message to the receiver, first step is receiver has to uh, generate two keys. One is public key and private key. Then uh, what the sender is going to do is, sender is going to encrypt the message. The message is X, X is the message. Okay. And using that message and using the B's, uh, I mean, receiver's public key, so sender uses some encryption algorithm. Encryption algorithm uses two inputs. One is 
receivers public key and the message so by applying this it uh, generates some text that y is called as the cipher text y is the cipher text and x is the plain text so y will be transmitted over the network so receiver will receive y what the receiver is going to do is receiver will uh, convert that into the plain text using what so receiver will have two inputs again one is the cipher text the other one is the private key receiver's private key and these two will be given to the decryption algorithm okay decryption algorithm and this will generate the plain text that is x isn't it if sender wants to send a message to the receiver so first step is receiver has to generate two uh, two keys one is public key the other one is private key public key should be given to the uh, sender so the sender will uh, will encrypt the message using the receiver's public key and at receiver side the generated cipher text will be decrypted using receiver's private key pardon so this is the the representation so message x is there so encryption algorithm is using the public key so from where this public key is uh, getting so public key key pair source so somewhere the public and private keys of the receiver has been stored so public key will be uh, access will be given to the only public key so by the uh, sender okay all keys will be stored at some location public key can be accessed by anyone whereas a private key can be accessed only by the receiver okay only by the receiver so here for encryption algorithm it is using the public key as well as the x that is message as the input and it is producing y that is cipher text as the output and that so this is the crypt analyst the third person opponent opponent will have what so opponent can easily access the cipher text and also this public key if you observe so this public key is the name itself is specifying it is a public key everybody can access the uh, public key so using the knowledge of public key and the cipher text so crypt analyst has to try to obtain the plain text so by apply by using some private keys so crypt analyst can obtain some x dash so using some private key that is uh, by assuming that might be the private key of the receiver but at the destination side uh, the receiver directly uses the uh, private key and uh, will get the the um, encrypt uh, the plain text which is encrypted at the sender side okay so as i said it has to provide some uh, security services so first one is authentication so how one can uh, so whenever uh, the data is uh, if the data is encrypted using the means uh, sender is encrypting using the uh, receiver's public key so there will it is not providing any authentication means anyone can encrypt the data using the receiver's public key so in order to provide the authentication so instead of uh, encrypting the data using the receiver's public key so what a uh, sender can do is sender will also have two keys right private and public key so sender can encrypt the data using its own private key okay so in that manner it can provide the authentication 
okay because in public key system either uh, one can be used for uh, encryption the other one can be used for the decryption so a a means sender prepares a message to b so what are the message x is there using is private key so who's private key a is private key that is k r of a k r a means private key of a so by using that care of uh, private key of the sender and the x as input the message so encryption algorithm will perform and then it produces the output that is cipher text and at receiver side receiver suppose if a is private key is used for encryption then a is public key should be used for decryption okay a is public key it should not use b is public key so that is why decryption side uh it is using a is public key k u a means public key of a the sender's public key because encryption was done using a is private key so in that manner it can provide the authentication so message x is there so here this is the key pair source so the set of keys is about a not about the b sender uh, keys so sender private key is used for encryption and sender's public key is used for the decryption public key is used for decryption a decryption list will have idea about the public key not the private key okay so by providing the authentication using the sender's private key so it it can easily say that uh, authentication was provided the security service was provided because one is uh, encrypting the data using its private key okay and this is considered as a digital signature so whatever the data it is sending so it is providing the uh, it is using the the sender's private key okay so providing the authentication is nothing but it is providing the, the digital signature to the data but there is another security service that is the confidentiality means the data should be uh, transmitted in a secure manner isn't it confidentiality means it should not be disclosed to any other person uh, apart from the sender and the receiver so the how it is going to provide the confidentiality because at receiver side by if we use authentication if we if we use authentication so but in order to provide the authentication at encryption side it is using the as private key and at decryption side it is using the uh, it is using the uh, public key it is decryption side it is using the public key of a so confidential everyone so once the data is transferred cipher text is transmitted and the public key is uh, known to everyone so anyone not only the receiver so anyone can decrypt the message because uh, everybody knows the decryption algorithm as well as the public key so that is why it is uh, not providing the, the confidentiality so you encrypting a message using the private key and decrypting the using uh, decrypting the message using the public key is not a efficient idea because once the data is transmitted the data is uh, cipher text is uh, traveled uh, through the secure channel and the public key is known to everyone and decryption algorithm is also known to everyone so that is why any one can uh, the mesh okay not 